After a long day of being pulled in every direction, the last thing anyone wants to think about is what's for dinner. That's where Schwann's can help with a variety of real food choices, frozen to lock in freshness, from ready-made meals, premium meats and side dishes, to vegetables, ice cream, and more. Schwann's foods go from freezer to table in minutes, not hours, so you can pull off a delicious meal in no time at all. Ordered, delivered, done. That's homemade easy. To help simplify mealtime, visit schwanz.com. And now, a great moment in furniture history. One summer in the early 90s, the Bob behind Bob's Discount Furniture did something that would send shockwaves throughout the furniture business. He eliminated haggling and ended the unfair and insidious practice of artificially jacking up prices only to throw a phony sale. What remains unanswered is why he would end such a lucrative scheme. It was the right thing to do. It was the right thing to do. This has been another great moment in furniture history. Watch furniture history unfold at mybobs.com. 169. Episode 169, he's bartender. Let me turn down the music here while you were talking. I'm sorry, that was wrong of me. <laughs> That's that right. is one episode 169 of the Keys Bartender. This is Jim, the Keys Bartender. I'm here with uh, Jenna Kelly, Papa Joe, and Damon. And they walked in on the last episode to uh, Eating Asshole. Eating Asshole, yes. Yes. And, t- t- and they just saw like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Damon's face. It could have been something time. like that whenever you're talking at the bar and all of a sudden you hear like a dog's ear go, you're eating asshole. Ooh. Like that. No. It's interesting. There was a lady at the bar I know. Um, her name's Karen. She lives up in uh, Broward with her husband, Scott. And she was just making light conversation when we worked at the Encore. And she starts talking to the schedule. And she goes, you know, we go for cocktails down at um, the Big Chill. And then we may go out to dinner. And then at 8 o'clock, it's anal sex. And I went, I went down to the end of the bar. And I just heard that. And I said, you said that, Karen? And uh, not that... That's a wrong thing. I said, you just said it in public at a bar at the Encore. And she goes, I can't believe you heard that. And I said, you know, the, the sound, whenever you're going to say something somewhat interesting, the music stops or you, the music stops talking. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> that's the, on the only thing you hear, you know? Have you seen those videos that they post? I'm not sure who puts them on, but they're on Facebook all the time. The ones where they bring like the X... Uh, the exes, they bring like an ex relationship and mm-hmm. they bring them in and they ask, they have a series of questions they have to ask each other and they can either ask the question or take a shot. Have you seen those? It's freaking cool. So usually it's like these ex, you know, re- they answer the question or ask the question. Both. So, so you other. can ask so the question. Like, if you don't want to ask the question, sitting. you don't want to know. Like I'm going to say, uh, how no, many guys? You have or- to ask the question, but if your ex girlfriend was sitting across the table from you, then. If she didn't want to answer the question, she would have to take a shot. And then it would be her turn. Ask you a question. If you don't want to ask a question, answer the question, then you take a shot. Well, the one that I watched You're just on, making an assumption that they're going to answer uh, uh, truthfully. Well, I mean, they're making the assumption, but of course, that's yeah. part of the humor of it. So the one that I watched on Sunday when Tyler was dealing with his man cold before Damon and Joe got here, uh, I was watching one that had this, the same scenario but with parents and children. So oh, there wow. was like adult, adult children. I know, right? I imagine so that. You're going to sit with your 12 year old, right. so do this, a shot. This one girl, like. Hey, how many times have you jerked off into your uh, sock, Damon? And, and then you take it, and Damon you're 12 like, years well, old. And you mom, go, well, mom, mom, I'm going to give me a whiskey. Give me a whiskey. Give me, give me some tequila. Yeah, take a, So this one what, girl. What? Looks how many at her times dad. have you looked at the mother goes, how many times have you snuck a peek at me when I was in the shower? <laughs> He would be like, I'm going to take a shot. I'm going to take a Mom. shot. <laughs> so it's this, this father and this daughter, right? Yeah. And obviously adult daughter. I would guess 26-ish if I had to guess. And uh, she basically says, you know, one of the questions to him was, well, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, how heterosexual are you to her dad? And she goes, one being completely gay. And ten being completely heterosexual, and he looks back at her and he goes, "I would say about an eight. 
And she goes, that is a really great answer. Well, and, wait, what and if he's he not being truthful? Pinky finger. In other words, he likes butt stuff. Like, to be done on him by females. But he That's was, what the pinky finger that means? Was, I guess so. That's what he was basically saying, like, the pinky finger. Well, so then, of course, his next question to her was, on a scale of one to ten, how heterosexual are you? And she goes... I would go like this. She, was, she says, well, I would be a one. I, would, I, would, I mean, she a goes, pinky... I, w- I would be Wait, a one. Wait, unless you have a pinky... Unless you have a pinky the size of Andre the Giant... <laughs> Right? Unless you have a pinky the size of Andre right. the Giant, that does not do anything for you. You know, I mean, I guess he was saying because, I'm not getting, you, because hey, he is, you know was the that man we, in his 50s that liked We should play that game here for a moment. We you, could. We could. Okay. All right. You want to ask a question? I have my drink. You have your drink. Ask I have me. a drink. All okay. right. Ask me a question. I don't know if that's appropriate because you're a married woman. You're with my your husband. My husband is right here. If I don't want to answer it, I can take a drink. Yeah, okay, have, okay, okay, no okay, secrets. okay, okay. What was uh what was the shortest time you knew somebody before you went all the way with them? The shortest time? Yeah. I mean well uh, even shorter if you know like an hour. No, oh gosh, no. You know, it's funny because my mother is listening and she will tell you I'm a, I'm 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 a habitual long-term relationship oh, type man, of girl. Oh man, I thought I get a good um, oh, I'm she's going to answer it. New knew them? I had a half hour. Probably a couple of months. Probably two, Really? Probably 2 months. Shit. Knew them, yeah. I'm a whore. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I'm okay. Not, I'm, I'm not, glad you didn't ask me that question then. Right. Okay. All right, my turn. Yeah. All right. And I believe you. That was the that was that was pensive. It was pensive. <laughs> okay, my turn. David's David's got a question in mind right now because I you can, can ask look at anything face. you want. I what I was you like that? Say, a pinky decides that. I was going to say. Um, so, <coughs> have you ever had butt stuff done on yourself? Um. Wait a second. I got to think about this because remember I talked about drinking, right? So, so if drunk Jim versus sober Jim, I had a girl that always tried to uh, go uh, up my, uh, just put the finger up my butt, and all that stuff. You know, tried to. You didn't let her. Uh, you know, she could have maybe. She could have done it, but I mean. That I can't always say that I was always aware when I was around her and stuff like that, but I never woken up feeling particularly looser than I was bef- before I went passed out. <laughs> Is that right? I, it was. Da- did Is that we accurate? Pick up the microphone, one of you. Thank you. So what I'm not saying it could. It could. I. I. To, not to my knowledge. Not to your knowledge. You've never. I mean, they always go like this thing. Oh no, nah, no. Nah. It's. It's not. I don't know if it's not an erogenous zone for me because of the taboo nature of it. I have never, I think, I've never crossed that Rubicon, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. At, at 55, I realize that, but at 55, it's like. So you're saying at 55, you don't, you don't care. It doesn't matter. So, like, if your wife were to give you the pinky finger. If it finger, was important to her, I'd say go ahead. And she has very skinny fingers, so <laughs> she could go all, like three. Probably she could go. All, she could probably do three. Her hands are. See, you can tell. She that could probably. I, I, we I think have no forms on this show because neither of us have chosen to drink instead of answer a question so far. No, no, I'm just thinking and stuff like that. Now, obviously, you know, you. It's one of those things you don't. I don't think you sweat out. I don't think it wouldn't be to the benefit if I just shut up. If I was really embarrassed about something, I even met, I mentioned the most, I mean, the Boy Scout master, right? What? He, he wanted to. The Boy Scout master? He wanted to put a finger up the butt, I think, eventually. He kept on grabbing my ass when I, we played basketball one night and we were sleeping over and he was trying to play a little grab ass. I was like 13 years old oh. and I'm like this and I end up sleeping in the living room. Yikes. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, it was in the it wasn't it wasn't a calf it wasn't a Catholic league, but that very well could have happened. I'm not I'm not defending that uh, behavior. This was uh, on a Navy base. The guy was a third class petty officer, and uh, 
I used to like the the friend's daughter that was there. I thought she was cute. But when I was 13 years old, I barely knew what to do myself. Okay, but so, so then uh, I knew, the same, I the same question. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not heterosexual and 10 being very heteros- heterosexual, what number are you? I don't know how to answer that one there because I've never done... Anything enough, with boys. And, with boys, so I can't really answer that accurately. Right. I mean, to go and uh, pick that, I don't think there's... I think there certainly is a scale where you could get slide. And I think people fall into the middle of that. Uh, mostly, you know, some, I think it's more of a, a, a gradient and I don't, I, I don't even know how to answer that. Okay, I'm not so aware. I want to ask that question to Damon cause he's holding a microphone because Damon obviously is, a, you know, has a partner named Joe who is Papa Joe. I mean, is that, am I equivocating? Cause I've never, so I don't, I don't think know. you are. I don't think you are. I've been are. there. I had the fr- I've, scales are always going to be skewed from the male to female genders because women are much more open to exploration and admitting that they may have an interest in exploring with a female. It doesn't Such make you gay, lesbian, anything like that. It, it from an erotic standpoint, if you're sexually open, then you're sexually open. It. You can take a finger in the butt. It doesn't mean you're gay. Right. No, of course and, not. But Although men, men have historically have a hard time coping with that. They won't explore. They won't allow a woman Well, to I think explore. they won't admit. Well, uh, they damn sure right. won't admit. Won't admit that they explore. Because explored. there's a stigma socially that says, right, that, oh, your girl stuck a finger up your butt. You're gay. That's not it no. at all. It's it's exploring. It's exploration. It's I wouldn't even call that a fetish. A fetish is maybe the ear or the toe. Um, it is an area of the body that, yeah, you okay, know so that that would it could be used for that. Like, so it's not it's not uh, it's it's not abnormal. It's just not one of those things. Like, like I've I never tell you this. Like I'm strictly dickly. There's a lot I'm of stuff for, I haven't done, done with girls. Like I'm I'm kind of you know what even my kids call me. I'm a dude with boobs, but. I'm I'm strictly dickly. I don't even like my own girl part. You know, I don't want to mess with. You know, it's funny. This part. week, uh, I think Tyler so was there. So when it comes to heterosexual, I am like ten. Ten. Ten? Hetero, ten heterosexual. Like I am not. As a uh, woman or a man. As a female, okay. I don't. I don't want any. <laughs> I don't. Question. I don't want to. You like I that? How I goes? don't want to deal with any other lady parts because I don't even like my my own. Lady parts, but when you ask you know I mean? when you ask the question, I think the scale, I, right on the scale I, because I have an answer. I think the women yes, I, are I, more I, attuned I, to it because of the way they're shut out of. If if you're not empowered, let's say empowered for hundreds and thousands of years, thousands of years, not empowered. Guys take women; they're they're forced on them. So with another woman, you're not forced, right? Right. right? You think about it. You could get adult more have it the only chance for them to have a consensual uh relationship with anybody without being declared a whore was with another woman so they have a natural proclivity for it so i think it's more social than biological well it's you know what i mean it's and biological social. i mean i mean obviously biological there is it, it you are i believe you are born the way you are well, absolutely. And you have a proclivity. Yeah, and if you're open to it, you won't like a lot of closeted. There's a lot of closeted people out there. And I bet there's a super small majority, a super small majority of closeted straight people in the gay community. Just from the average. That, well, I can, I can tell you that there's probably zero closeted straight no. people in the gay community. No, no. I mean, that's super small, I said. Super right. small. No, there's got to be one. No, because who would... Let's w- say San Francisco. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't wake up tomorrow and say, oh, I'm, I'm gay. Being Why not? a straight man. Because of the social bullshit that hits you. Oh, nowadays. But nowadays, though, David. But nowadays, it's nowadays, nothing compared it's, to what it was 30 years oh, ago. Oh, yeah, I know. 40 years ago, we, or 50 years ago, you could, you could be thrown. Well, actually, until you'd be stoned, 10 you'd years be ago, hung, you'd have you been could tied be go to, to jail. A fence. Yeah, you shot. They would kill you'd you. You'd have been taken out and beaten. Yeah. It's not something that somebody's going to wake up I mean, well, in, I'm in, be Brunei, in Brunei, you can. It, it is, uh, they just instituted a death penalty. Right. right, and and that's that's exactly why yeah, I no, say no. I'm mean, just zero. saying a more open right. society. Yeah, just would, say like in in San Francisco. Here's an example. If you grow up in a group, let's say I'm just saying the 
I'm saying the exception rather than Norman, just kidding, that there's tons of closeted gay people in the straight community. And, and not they're not really in the straight community. They're just pretending to be there. Some let's say Lindsey Graham. <laughs> right? Well, every every it person. used to be Rock Hudson, uh Carrie Cary Grant. One of the folks, some of the most famous uh, uh, male uh, actors and the most, uh, no, the most, no, but I mean, <laughs> it's because they couldn't accept it. Without an English actor, and he's excellent, an English actor, Rupert Evans or something like that, good looking guy. And he never got a leading role, role up to Cambridge because it was, he was 10 years too late, too early, 10 years too early. Right. It really sucked. To be that, and you can't, you know, you're an actor, you should be able to take any role. And then, I, I guess if I'd be super p- pissed off uh, if I was a gay man and I see a straight guy getting a role playing a gay man, and you go and say, oh, well, because he's a great, he's a big actor. You know, Tom Hanks has to, had to be in Philadelphia. I was just going to say that. Tom you know what I mean? Been my reference. I mean, there's plenty of gay actors out there. Okay, but I still want to hear David's answer to his question. So on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being completely homosexual and 10 being heterosexual. But on the scale, are on, you on, on, referring to willingness to do sexual activities or just... Just attraction. Attraction. Yep, because I already know that. How do you know it's sexual attracted? If you could be attracted to... You could be attracted to someone... Sexually attracted... I know. I think sexual attraction is is a fine line. Well, it is, and and I would honestly have to say it's probably a, a three or a four. I am one hundred percent incapable of being in love with a woman. That does not mean that I do not find her attractive, and under certain circumstances, would I not explore? Everybody has a bucket. Not I won't say bucket list. That's horrible. No, yeah, don't say that. But. <laughs> I I can tell you on one hand the amount of women mm-hmm. that I would do whatever I had to to explore that. Viagra, Cialis, whatever. Of course, they're celebrities. What is it, like Charlize Theron? Danica Patrick is the number one. I met her. Love her. I think she's amazing. She's you beautiful. like ice queens. Ice queens. Ice queens. I like women that drive really fast cars. Mm-hmm. But she's an ice queen, though. That's fine. Did you see her Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition? Oh, I didn't say that. I did not say that. It's different. That's different. <laughs> That's totally different. But I'm just I saying could, when you see him. I could never do anything long term with her. So I would have to back it way down to the lower yeah. level of it. Right. It doesn't mean that I wouldn't explore that. So mm. I have to give some. That level. would be your hall pass. That would be my hall pass. Right. That yeah. would be his hall okay. pass. Right. But Papa. Similar, so, I mean, you you have fathered children and have been married to a female, so it's probably really close in the same range. You know what I mean? That's of of the scale of the three to four to ten. Yeah, it's, yeah. Take the microphone. Yeah. So there was no doubt. Um, th- th- there should never be an easy answer to this because it cheapens the the emotion. The, no, it, it, it cheapens the subject matter because there are people that truly struggle with this and they're locked into yep. lifestyles and lives. <clears throat> they, have, they have jobs, careers. They feel stuck. If you're, if you're an employee in this state, especially a public employee, um, and you come out and say you're gay, they can, without cause, fire you. Mm-hmm. And in this day so and age, it, t- today, it's, yeah, because so it's that uh, still exists because there are not employment. Uh, it's an at will employment it, state. Yeah, there's there's no securities in in the legislation. At will employment should have to do with other things. It doesn't. I know. Though. The sad part is, is whoever is in charge no, of hiring are, and firing. Yeah, at there's that no way. Wait, wait, you can't discriminate. You yeah, can't just, fire someone because they're black. Discrimination. No, because they're black. Trumps. At will employment. At will employment yes. means something completely yes. different. Right, but they can say it's something else. Well, then that's They're that's what they do all the time. Right. They do that if they want to fire someone who's African American because they don't want to, uh, uh, you know, an African American. Right. Right. And everyone's politically savvy, especially in this state. Even if they want you gone because you're gay, they're not going to say it's because you're gay. They can. Yeah. 
but there's going to be a, a, a feedback in society that they're not going to want to hear. Right. So, so you have that, and then you, you have – so oh, let me go back. So being in the closet and trying to live a life for everyone else but yourself, mom and dad, religion, God, country, whatever you want to say, um, it kind of directs the decisions you make when you're in the closet to try and prevent people from seeing who you really are. Because you're really not living your own life, are you? You're, you're living a life... For everyone else. For everyone else. Right. In that life, you may fall in love. And I did. In a perfect world, my ex-wife would have been my bestest friend like she is today. Right, I was going to say, you guys are very close. And it's because she's a saint. Mm, she really is. She is. Because you know me, you say that. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> It's so there's so that's going on, right? So you have you have that coming out of the closet. Okay, there's liberty and freedom. I can be me, and now we're dealing with my choices. So now I'll answer your question. Right. Somewhere between two and three as well, mm -hmm. because there are women that you look at them, and it's rare, but there's just something about them, and it's like, oh, oh my God, I'm turned on. And, yeah, why not? Because human sexuality doesn't follow a black and white on or off, yes or no. Human sexuality is on a curve. And, and that I think individually that curve fluctuates. It changes, you know. And I think it has a lot to do with personality. Yeah, so when you say fluctuality, uh, fluctuates, you mean over time? Time of your life. It, it can. Time of your life, it can change. Uh, your mood. You know, you may find something sexually attractive, and, and and you may be like, yeah, let me let me try that for a while, you know. Or clearly when you're young, you talked about this earlier, when you're young, you might like certain things that, you you know, when you're older, you may look back and go, yeah, I don't like those, I don't like those things anymore. I'm not into that anymore. Right. Sexuality could be the same. The same. And we, we have, you know, we... Our culture drives us to be very black and white. You know, you're either you're either with us or against us. You know, these these that that meme just follows culturally throughout all of our discussions, politically, socially, and we really need to stop doing that because it minimizes whole groups of people's experiences. And on this subject matter, it minimizes the human experience. We need to start talking frankly about you know, sexuality. And when we do, we're going to realize we're not very different from each other at all. But then, like Damon said, there's still a cultural stigma. And we like to think today, oh, you know, gays are, are, are more accepted and don't fall for that, that, that speak of, so you guys are okay now. No, no, it's, the, the world is still dangerous to be gay, to be homosexual. This country and parts of this country, it's still dangerous. And and it's an ongoing fight. Is it better today than 30, 40, 50 years yes. ago? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's still a long way to go. There is a long way to go. And you can't get mad or I, you I, know, rage. You just you have to keep on keeping on. I, and I, I don't and I don't so mean Papa to put the problem. The shot. I didn't mean the I didn't mean to, uh, <laughs> to put it there but it seems like it's. Uh, I can equate this to like uh, the ERA, the Equal Rights Amendment. Think of this: they couldn't get if women are more than fifty percent of the electorate, they could not get women to support the, the Equal Rights Amendment. You know damn well you're not going to get a lot of guys, but you'll get some. But there's a significant portion of women that won't, and there's a significant portion of. Um, closeted gay people that are, I don't mean to call it self-hating, but they're going along. Of course it's, they are. It's just like being a Jewish guy working in the, um, in the concentration camp. Just trying to survive, trying to survive in a hostile environment and say, you know what, I'll go along, I'll keep quiet, and I'll do that. And if you watch it 
But if you watch injustice going on and you realize it's wrong, then you're wrong. You're just as wrong as the people that are condemning it. And it's the duty of people that realize that it's wrong to condemn someone because of who they love. I mean, there's a guy running for president right now, and I noticed that he didn't kiss his husband when he, uh, when he introduced him. And he, he did it. It was a calculating thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's, he's not that makes him, doesn't make him a bad guy that he didn't do it, but people just can't handle that. But the guy is out, uh, outgoing. He, uh, he's, I don't know how he can belong to a, a religious I mean, when you think, considering how religions had what they what religion has done yeah, to don't. people of uh, a color, you know, they, they use religion to uh, uh, to uh, institutionalize slavery, to uh, uh, demonize homosexuals, uh, demonize women empowerment, keeping them in the home start and pregnant, wars. and yeah, yeah, start wars and just like that. And it's a uh, 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 spirituality is not a bad thing. But religion is used to, uh, religion and politics is to demonize and show the other people's wrong. You have uh, log cabin Republicans, gay people that support. Well, you, you, look, if you have uh, someone who's gay who finds themselves, uh, you know, a, a conservative, especially fiscally conservative, and you can even be socially conservative and be gay. But then I, I would also agree with you. You have to ask yourself, you're not, if you're socially conservative and, socially, and a member of the Republican Party, are you at some point working against yourself? That's my question. So, well, re- log cabin Republicans are out homosexuals who are members of the Republican Party. That's it. That's and it. And that's what, that's what they're me, me. Personally, I always see that group as socially on the social side because – I, I'm a that would have worked. That definitely would. That would definitely have worked with um, McCain. Yes, McCain. McCain would have been the classic because he was an educated man. He was open. He was fiscally conservative, but still was somewhat responsible. Being fiscally conservative does not mean you're against all social programs and things like that. No, those are two separate. They're two separate two things. Separate Fiscal uh, being fiscally responsible is not spending more. Than you have and investing in your future. No, you also but that was interesting. We got in, into this point, and I don't mean to make light of it and stuff like that. <laughs> no, I didn't think I'm it that sorry. you were, making were light. laughing. At I, w- I was, you know, doing was... inappropriate things to my microphone for a moment, <laughs> <laughs> just to make David laugh. It worked. What'd you do? <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Get it. Leave it to the woman to make a blowjob <laughs> joke. Oh gee, I'm not using microphone. that microphone. Sorry. There we go. I have a man cold anyway. Okay. Well, we can always pick on this subject. It's a huge subject. But uh, (laughs) but I'm going to label this blind dates. Blind dates. Okay. Have you ever been on a blind date before? Oh, my God. Yes. Seriously? Yeah. I've never been on a blind date. I've been on several blind dates. The one that brings to mind was I was in Philadelphia, and I was at a Monday night football uh, uh, Eagles thing. My buddy, would he was a chef, and he would put this great grilling thing on. He would just have a nice spread. And we drink beers and enjoy this. And this older woman came along, and she started talking about her niece. And she made her sound as if she was a cross between. Now, remember, this is about 20 years ago, 25 years ago. A cross between, let's say, I'm gonna, i got to make it contemporary. And uh, Scarlett Johansson and Kira Knightley, Right? kind of really super sexy and super demure. And who's the one that was in the Black Swan? There was two. You know what I'm talking about? Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Okay. Natalie Portman. So I I love all those girls. And I just had the visions of it. And she didn't show a picture, which I thought was, you know, you're talking about a a niece you love, and you have a purse, and you don't have a picture of her. She was gorgeous. She said. Now, I was in Northeast Philadelphia, and geographically, when she set me up, she told me the name of the town, and I didn't pay attention because we didn't have Google at that time, Google Maps. So I kind of, but I traveled an hour, and I never went. I didn't like to go five minutes because I was in a big city. Yeah. And even though I was a 
history major, I realized within five minutes there were at least 10,000 available women. <laughs> and if you couldn't find a woman out of 10,000, then you were too fucking picky. There's people that get married in small towns all the time. I said 10,000 women that were available within five minutes, and that ain't no lie. Yeah, well, Philly's and it's probably big more. City. It could have been. It could have been fifty thousand. Okay, but I'm saying, and I'm thinking, I'm gonna find, unless I exhaust that market. There's no, and I drove all the way down there. Now, just there was a whole bunch of things that were misrepresentations on it. Um, and she was a sweet girl, but she was not. Kira Knightley. She, funny. She. She was not. No, she wasn't Kira Knightley. No. Uh, she went, and she was very far away. And I'm, I was one. I went back to my buddy, Walt. Walt spoke as I said, "Holy shit! Did that lady?" And I, I, I took out. I made sure I didn't do anything to commitment. I took her out to dinner. Had a couple drinks. Couldn't have too many drinks because if you had too many drinks, then I have to stay over, and then something could happen if you stay over. Right. Stay over, a little you know, sneaky, sneaky deaky shows up, <laughs> and then you sleep together. And what do you have to do when you sleep together? Oh, then you actually have to. I had a couple times where I ended up going out with someone, and I had too much to drink. You ended up staying in with that woman, and one time the woman hid my wallet, and I had spent five hours telling her how I was going to go out with her again, and how much I cared about her <laughs> before I got the wallet back. And never saw her again. It's a little psycho. It is, it's I know. Well, psycho. one thing I'm thinking, I'm an I, I do not like lying. But once you put me in a position, that crazy thing, like you're proving that there's no reason why we should ever go out again. Aren't those the leave behinds? Right? Like there's a, the leave behinds too. Like no, this was where they took. She took them. That's that's crazy. I had another one. Held, I had a couple girls hold my wallet for a while, make them meet them out, and all that stuff. And and I met him out, and they, I, I I'd say, oh yeah, and stuff like that. And they go, like, give me my wallet back. I'm like, fuck. See, I've drank. never been on a blind date before, but Papa has. Yeah, as it turns out, one, um, a, a buddy of mine when I was a park ranger set me up with a friend of his girlfriend's. Yeah. And um, I was twenty, twenty years old, and um, we met. And she was a fairly attractive young lady, mm-hmm. uh, a Hispanic girl, mm. um, caliente, very, a oh, very caliente, and and uh, very Americanized. Ooh, um, a good kid, you know, great bunch of friends that she had on her own. Dark eyes, and, dark uh, hair, dark hair, dark eyes, uh, Mediterranean skin. Skin, yep. <clears throat> so, Neria, if you're listening, uh, thank you for the. Interesting uh, sex underneath the date palm at Matheson Hammock Park. <laughs> she was out of control. Uh, so it it was. Um, thank God I was twenty. You know, if the wind blew a certain way, you know, uh-huh. parts of me would stand at attention. And uh, but it was in, it was insane, and I it was it was so there was so much sex that it lasted a month and I broke it off because it, it it was just it was all about that it was just all about did. that yeah. it was overwhelming and coming from a very evangelical conservative home um that it, it posed a problem you know how how am I because my parents are going to read this right on my face yeah and um yeah, so I I I put an end to it, but it was interesting. I will oh, tell you, you this. Oh, that's a fuck face. Oh yes. <laughs> okay, but so like, and my, isn't my that, dad could read right through that. Like the blind dates of then would be so equivalent. Well, not to a the, blind um, date. The blind date was the initiation that he did. After that, that was the uh, right, but uh, early uh, infatuation. Blind, the, the, the internet th- dating thing date freaks me out. Was uh, like I don't know. Right I, yeah. if oh, I really. Right if I was single, I couldn't. Date. First date. 
First yeah. date. First date this on the blind what date. I'm saying. That's pretty good. Well, That's... wait. I know. Wait. First date. I did first dates. I did stop stoplight meets. Stoplight meet. What the heck is that? Girl pulls up next to you at the stoplight. You point over to the side of the road and you pull over. That happens. That happens. That does not happen. Yes, it does. It oh, happens. Oh, yes, it does. Uh, a horse. Anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I was a whore. I know. I was a whore. There was one. Uh, there was a young lady who was an entertainer. She wasn't a stripper. Mm-hmm. She was a uh, a DJ, and we met on a big holiday night, and we ended up hooking up. And oh my God, I would. I was such a little liar, talking about how much. I mean, we'd hang out and like for like a day. If I was off, I'd go over to her house for a day and say, I'll call you, I'll call you. And then we'd call her for two weeks and she'd be all angry and then call her, don't worry, I'll be coming. I'll be back. Uh, don't worry, sweetheart. I'll be back. I'll be back. I did that. It was so bad. I was so bad at that time. I was. I Again, was. Though, so the blind dates of then. It wasn't a blind the, date. That not, wasn't a blind date. Well, okay, well, that was a first date. That and there was, was a, one a happy hour date. date. You ever hear the happy da- hour date? Yeah, I heard about your happy hour Happy date. hour date. I met her at the beginning of happy hour. Brought her back to half. Uh, to finish to happy hour, and then came back and finished the last hour happy hour. Yeah. So isn't that a lot like internet dating now? Like and then all it was I the think bingo about date, is like the bingo network, date. You know, like on the, the bingo date on the Tinder app. You had a bingo date. Well, the girl was at a place with her grandmother. They had a bingo party. Who'd you take out the grandmother or the girl? The girl. <laughs> the girl Good was. Question, the girl bingo. was nineteen. <laughs> I was. I was twenty seven. And um, the girl said she met me when I was uh, when I, when she was seventeen. And I said we didn't go out. There we she goes no no no. But you were so nice to me, and I had real different color hair. But she turned into a really nice nineteen year old. And her mom, a grand, she was at a bingo party, and she was dressed up really nice. I said, "Holy crap!" There was a bunch of older ladies and some middle aged ladies, a couple of younger ones, and this one gorgeous redhead. Uh, and and I said, well, "You're all dressed up." And I got dressed up for you. Said, no, you didn't. She you goes, yes. Two re- I was hoping you were still here. I said, two years later? Two years later in a catering establishment? So, no, well, she wasn't that infatuated because we didn't go. We, did, we hooked up a couple times. She, she just, it, it may have been possible that she was. She but, just liked you. But for three, four times, four, in, in separate incidents. Could have been 12 times. But, um, yeah, so this is like I'm where you, she goes, yeah. And then we went and had a drink. I and had a drink with her call. mom. Oh, of course Her you mom did. was gorgeous. <laughs> Almost went out with the mom after that. The mom was gorgeous. She was about 10 years older than me. 10, 12 years older than me. That was in 20. No, no, she had to be, she had to be close to 40. The girl was 19. And I was 27. So, yeah. It's just a myriad of a long life. I'm 55 years old. Okay, but have you ever done the internet dating thing? Because that's what I was trying to compare. No, never. Never met anybody on the internet. I'm post. I'm post internet. Like you're post internet. But like you're not post internet. The the blind dates of then seem seem to be more like internet dating now because you're you're like hooking up or meeting people that you've have no idea. You don't have any idea on the internet. Their pictures probably aren't even accurate. They're lying. They're on on the. Internet, it, they're intentionally lying to you. At least lying, in person, right. you can kind of read them, right? You can see. On the internet, they it's tell you crazy. anything. They'll tell you anything. Well, you know the rule about dating a girl, right? Or a guy, what? Take her swimming. <laughs> Wash the makeup off because that's when you see who the person is. Well, I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> by, I know makeup. Well, there are some YouTube yes. videos that will fool you. Yes. Well, I can see. I can tell. I really can. Yeah, I'm just. I'm winning this war right now since I don't wear makeup. No, when they're overdone, no, I, saw, I, see, I saw you. I've seen some really. I can see. I, know. I see the pancake. I can tell the pancake I stuff. Right once. When it's flawless, no. if it's Barbie doll stuff, it's it's no. When you see some flaws, you're going. Oh well, there you go. Just some. I Ladies, just seen a couple. couple. Flaws are attractive. Flaws there was a are girl good. I worked with, who had a, a kind of a, a wart. Right here. Oh, on the side of her nose, but then the Never bridge of her had nose it on the removed. side. I knew she was beautiful. I knew she was beautiful. Well, she was confident hiding. enough in herself to yep. leave it. Yes. Right. Confidence is sexy, ladies. Yep. You yep. don't have to paint it on. No, you do. Or not. men. Well, men don't no. typically wear makeup. Men. Uh, hmm? 
Well, okay. Oh, you'd be you surprised. Yeah, beach, there we go. We, see yeah, this, in, where, in makeup. this is where we. But you're also like, going to see men in We're just as vain. Heels. I am. I am. Uh, I'm somewhat vain. I'm. The, I work out hard. I work out hard to somewhat maintain. Yes, but a you shape don't that use... I can't market anymore. You don't have to market. You're married. You market. I know, but I. You. It's like. Uh, it's like keeping a fire extinguisher charged. You don't need it. But someday, in a case of emergency, you might need it. Is that, was that a, I mean, I pulled that out of my ass. Was that, I like that. Uh, it, it's pretty good. It's yeah. like you have to have it. You know, our friend Walter, our friend Walter David, said to Tyler. Just, like, just remember when I go work out again, it's, it's like keeping a fire extinguisher in the house. You, you never know. Well, wait, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> the second, way that I read that is second, it's an escape plan. <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, wait. Uh, number two, there's levels. There's levels. There's levels, right? The other one is so I could keep up with a younger, uh, a younger spouse. I have a younger spouse. No, I Again, so I can keep exit up. Plan. And yeah. I, 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 so I worked out. I worked out really hard so I don't get tired and I don't feel older in comparison because she works out pretty hard. Yeah. And number three, the stupid shit I did was making my a vocation to a vocation, the spinning thing. Because then uh. I go into the class and, oh, you're the spinning instructor? You look like the guy, the deputy from, um, you look like Otis from, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might, maybe, I would, I swear to God, I could get there right away. The way I eat, the way I eat, I could get there right away. But I'm, I'm, I'm a. But you know what, though you don't like color your hair and you leave all of your like wisdom grays. You know what? And I think it kind of makes, if you stay true to certain things and don't over, the reason I explained why I didn't get a tattoo for the longest time. Yeah. Because it would have looked it, it would have looked it, looked it, looked, looked it. it. It would have looked it. It would have looked affected, uh, like uh, an affectation that I did it on purpose to appear younger. And the only reason I got the tattoo now was because I could do the, I wanted to do the interview and I thought, how could I talk about how great this place is? One Which, or two, one that or two. Place really is and amazing. Talk about, and then I have a reason to get one. And I say, well, I'm doing it for the show. And I'll do anything for the show. Yes. That's I'll true. do anything um, except a face okay, tattoo. Okay. Uh, you know what, though? Maybe we should have his asshole bleached on the show. I mean, you've been talking about assholes for the last two episodes. So but no one really takes a look at it that closely. <laughs> I would, I don't know, that... Uh, you know... I don't know. More people, just, more people would, Jim, if your scale wasn't right? so close to eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm looking right now. I'm not at a loss for words. I'm thinking about it. I go, wait a second, how does that work here? And I go, I mean, but it just seems like... I. Huh. You're already hairless. It would be pretty easy to... Holy Trastle. shit, that would probably, or you know what? You can get an at home. No, forget about it. Do it in the privacy Forget of your own about house. that. Oh, I got one better. Okay, it let's comes out I, I got one better. A wax. You want to do a wax? A butthole wax? No, I don't want to. But that would be a good podcast. You, you, uh, that would Clarkson. be po- Wax. That would be a good podcast. That would be a good podcast. But I, I'd be it afraid. It would be a bunch of screaming. Yeah, and you could get infected though if you you get if it's a well, lot. You're of hair. definitely probably going to get ingrown. I don't want to get any of that. No, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'm not a oh, no. A that's uh, that's hairy crazy. Person, if there's if there's a reason, I don't want to get an true. infected <laughs> asshole from having my ingrown air, uh, hair near my rectum. If you pull out the hair follicle, it doesn't typically grow back as an ingrown. That it doesn't? usually happens if you just shave. Oh. Because then the top of oh, the hair gets stuck me. below the skin. Gets stuck oh, below so you don't have to worry about that. No, no, if you wax it, it pulls the whole damn thing out. Yeah, you wax okay. it, it pulls it so out. Okay, so no, sh- is there any, no. f- is there comes, any possibility of It comes of back infection? in. Very no, small. Very, very little. You just have you, to stay clean. You would probably maybe get some irritation because you do a spin and, and because Fuck you yeah. are very well, I would white do it. I would do it on a Monday afternoon. <laughs> or Tuesday because I don't have to spin again. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Just get some. You know powder. what? I'm in fucking. We're near Miami, so there's. Hey, listen. It's if called. It, Sorry, I'm a really bad co-host because you guys are making me laugh so hard I can't even. So put what? My microphone by my face. Don't laugh at it. We're talking seriously. Jim, go on Amazon. There's yeah. a powder. It's called Monkey Butt. Monkey Butt. Monkey Butt. It's a powder for your crack. It. 
keeps the whatever. Wait, wait, wait a Keeping. second. The Keeping. only reason I would do it is for the podcast to go to some place and get to interview them <laughs> and find out. Because otherwise, just getting one and having it irritating. You might like it. Well, it comes, I, wait a second. Two days of irritation. I am not. Don't try to get me not to do it by saying <laughs> that. Don't pull this uh, Freudian uh, ah. reverse psychology on me because that doesn't. All I care about is would it be good podcasting? I it could used to be imagine. good radio or good television. Would it be good podcasting? Right. I do not give a shit about we, that. We would have I to, do not give a shit at all. We would have to advertise don't. It to make sure we, that we maximize in on listeners because yes. I'm sure there are a lot of people. I bet in Key West there's, there's probably a, a place you can do it. I bet there's a lot of people that have always wanted there are to have their. in Key Largo that their do their waxing. Butts. No, but, I, but when we want to go someplace that we could maximize our advertising power. Well, if, so if have you to want a road trip to get your ass waxed, then... Mm. Good point. You don't want to be on a long trip after no, you have your ass waxed. Car. You don't want three hours. I, I'll, I'll buy the donut. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so... That is an interesting it is offer. It is very interesting. It is. I'm going to forego that until after Poland. Yes. Come back from Poland. Because if I go to... I think some of my relatives in Poland understand English very well. <laughs> and if I go to the wedding, I don't need to spend a couple hours explaining that part. But then again, it could be a co- good conversation it piece. It really could. Would you like to see my, uh, my wax asshole? And my non-swastika coat of arms on the side of my arm. <laughs> yes, that would be better. I bet you You're bleeding rather into the next... Oh, no pun intended, bleeding into... <laughs> You're, hey, there's a bleed. Oh, yeah. uh, you, I'm gonna uh, no more white underwear. No more. Oh no. my god. Now I think that we're um, contemplating this too. It, it would be it would be a cool idea for you to get waxed on air. I mean, you got tattooed on air. What else can you do? You know what? You're not thinking in the long run. You know what? You know you're not thinking about because if I do a lot of stuff, then other listeners start to say, "Why don't you start doing?" some of that stuff so you don't think ahead me yes because you're acting like you know you're a little prudish i'm nearly hairless and oh there's other things and i'm i have tattoos many no there's other things there's other other, there's other things like what i don't know but there's oh, I can we're going to have with some stuff. There's other <laughs> Damon, <laughs> Damon can come up with something. You got to be you got to be careful because you got to you got to play a long game. Yeah. The long game goes on for years. That's all right. I'm not a chicken. It does. Okay. Remember what our friend Luke uh did when he was playing his long game, his long game with the vibrating butt plug. Yo. Got a shut out of the uh, we Currently got out of the lover's boutique. Yes, which nobody but knew I about the whacking jacker at work or the walking jacker at work the other day. They I didn't know it. it? No. No. The I'm like, don't you Adult boutique didn't know it? Yeah, well, that's true. That's right. Like, yeah, like 90% of the staff that I have at work didn't, didn't even hear about it. They had no idea. I was talking about the walking jacker. They had no idea. You know, maybe someday we can. <laughs> no. I'd have to consult a lawyer. <laughs> um, to see if we can have him to, to do an impromptu performance at one of the businesses. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if we pay, then we put, we'd be liable for inciting that. But well, you don't have to pay; you just get their approval to make sure that there's no outsiders in there. I don't, you know, I, I am You're not have to consult the least about. But a guy that would walk to. A guy that would walk to the lover's boutique and be able to walk and jerk off at the same with time. His pants run his I don't need that. I don't need that. No, it's no, no. There's no way he was walking with his pants. That's what down. I'm saying. I still don't. know. He had the zipper. He unless he was wearing a, like a soft separating like uh, uh, sweatpants. Or like I, I mean, that's very abrasive. That's what I was saying. That's very abrasive. So he either had to be like walking down the street. With no pants at all. Where it's like a real go? fucking toothy blowjob. Or you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like if, if you, you ever see those uh, in the movie uh, Count. Uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Those hot. Bram uh, Stoker's is that the one that had uh, Gary Oldman and? Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, and they had those hot uh, girls that were in it, 
and you see their teeth and they're going like, and like, no way or is that ecstasy so much that I'm looking at anybody, guy or girl, with pointy teeth and thinking that's a good idea for you to go anywhere near south of the border. I don't want you near my shoulder or neck. You think you're going to go down there? And I'm the prude. <laughs> Not a prude. I, do, I mean, the, the, the fangs. I know. I'm just teasing you. Oh, okay. I'm, it's all right. Okay. You get a dish well, out and take a, it at the same time. Well, it doesn't make me restrictive. I'm just doing the fangs. There's sharp You might teeth. like it. Well, do you ever, obviously, you're not, um, when you're young and you first discover masturbating, sometimes you over. Yeah, worst days of my life. Yeah, you <laughs> over. It's you overdo it, and it's abrasive. You rub a freaking hole in the thing. Yeah. Oh, my God. You're still trying to figure out what the hell it's you're It's like doing. you're a fucking seaman, I mean, a sailor on a British ship, and you just stole all the fucking rum, and they're going to whip you to death. That's what you did to your penis. And then you can't play with it for no, a freaking week because it's got no a week. Yeah, it's all, it's all on tatters, like a flag that's uh, the, 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 at the, the, the Battle of 1812. You can make a song about it. Oh, say, can you see my ragged ass penis? Okay, I don't Got know how he came up with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're right? Because of the battle flag, you know, I had to get all torn it's up. It's funny you know? because David's actually told me this story before. <laughs> yeah, it, happen- it happens. It happens. It, it happens. It's a real thing. I, because I, you know why they do it? Because it feels you good. Well, you're still it trying feels- to figure it out. And then at a certain point, it becomes a challenge of, well, how many times can I do this? Yeah, and at the last time, the last time that was it. But but then you're so invested in it that you're like, well, I have you to gotta finish. You got to finish I because you, you heard it already. I know what I've already done. I'm not going to make it any worse, but I can't go to bed like this. <laughs> exactly. Or I can't go to school like this. <laughs> Ooh. That's yeah, you know what? They, that's Women what... think it's funny, and they're like, oh, I'd love to have yeah, a Yeah, if you flagellate your, no, your you vagina. Wouldn't. Because scabs suck. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. I will tell you, if I had one for a day, I would not leave the house. And I would, you would be in excruciating no, I, pain. I probably would by the be end in, of the day. No, you but, couldn't. You couldn't do it all day. But how cool would that be? Like, I want to play with one of those things all day long. Yeah, I do, of course. As, as yeah. my husband, you, you don't happening. get to put a scab on it and then get rid of it. I am not saying that I would. You would end up with one. It happens. You know, I, I'm a girl. We've been through worse. You know, childbirth. You know, okay. You know what? Like There's got to be. Yeah. That would be probably yeah. be a great okay. selling point for a certain lotion. I have yeah. to. I have to just point something out. Okay. Men have this problem. <laughs> okay. It's called morning wood. Oh yeah, I like morning wood. All right. You ever like busted your knee and the scab grows while you're, you know, it it, it dries while you're asleep and your legs straight and, and you when bend you get it. out of bed and you bend it and it hurts like hell. Oh yeah, yeah. Try Imagine being you're woken up because on of your an vagina. involuntary erection. Because the scab stretch. <laughs> it, f- it only lasts a week. Only lasts a week. And then you have a scar. And now you have a soft spot. So guess what happens next time? You got to move your hand a little bit. To, with the- yeah, but you like what you like and you do what you do. A righty's a righty. <laughs> and you're going to do it. You're going to do it you're again. You're going to do it again. As soon as it heals, That's you're going to do it again. again. And you're thinking in your head. Well, you're, you're well I mean, I'm used shower, to it. Like, so it's, it's whatever doesn't kill like, me makes I me stronger. do this. <laughs> You think, no, you think, you think like a bro, you're not going to break it in the same place anymore. It's not going to happen. No, and, and, and it you're, happens. You're cautious for a week. Like, yeah, well, I'm going to hold it a little different and I'm not going to do that. Vicinity. Yeah. And you, always, you don't realize you got sandpaper. That's your hand. Your hand is sandpaper. Okay, so um, maybe I would just use a lot of lube. I would just have some lube. Guess what? Gave no, you no. You know what? It the always gets gave through. It, o- it always shampoo. Yeah, you go faster. Oh, yeah. You go faster. It's 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 when abrasion. it dries up, it gets sticky, and then there you go. I still would. There's I still. I don't care. Suffer f- a week of suffering. Come on. No, we do mark explicit. Had, but if you are 14 years old, do I mean, take I, heed to this. I want to have one for a day. Learn from our advice. That's what I'm saying. You know, learn from our advice. You can't. Don't over masturbate, young guys. If I had one, or I'd women. play with it all the time. I mean, is there such a thing? It's just you like know booze. what? I got to find out. We're going to have to get uh, girls with um, that overdo it with the dildos. Well, they make their own. 
Yeah, you'd have to do something. But you know what? That like not. I'm every just woman. thinking that no. if you do it, if you do it, there's always, there's never zero abrasion. Yeah, but you don't ever hear there's about. No, maybe it's because women don't talk about it. Men are more open in talking about masturbation than women. Yeah, are. yeah. Well, uh, I don't know. I used I to have know, a friend of mine. She'd bring out the dancing here. dildo, and we made a song about it. Turn it on, and the vibrator is going. We go dildo. That we made it. It sounded like uh, dreidel, 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 which is a shame to my Jewish friends. But <laughs> dildo, dildo, Jewish dildo. Girl. We made it out of latex, and it danced around. And then it, she'd turn it off, and whoever um, it pointed to, they had to drink. Ah. You thought you had to whip up their know, dildo. I was like, How about no. I had to stick the dildo up there? <laughs> yeah, that, oh, oh, ho- you like ho- it. Hoagie, hoagie. Okay, it well, it's, it's 55 minutes after. 55? It's five wow. minutes. 55 minutes. Oh, and that was Hoagie. hoagie and we cut into everyone. the prime masturbating time for a lot of you. Uh, so, uh, so I'd don't like do to it say too thank much. you. No what? scabs. No scabs. Use, use your lotion. Remember, three times is enough. Three times enough. It is. Four if you, if you're gonna right before, scab. if you once you find out your limit, don't do it. And if you have, if you're into construction trades, maybe once, or put on a latex. Club. A latex <laughs> one. Yeah. Hands are a little callous. Yeah, or pay a La- Laotian woman to do it for you. Asian maybe. massage. Asian massage. They always the happiest of ending. The number five, I think it's called, on the list. Uh, but number six would be. Leaving a review for us on Number iTunes or Spotify or iHeartRadio. And that would raise our visibility. Raise. Raise it. Raise raise it make it harder we would for people not to find wake us. Wake up in the morning yeah. and be very pleased. Yeah. Yes. And, and whatever, if you like to drive us a note, uh, drop us a note. How many times you masturbated in the last week? That's yeah, great, I mean, too. You know, if you drop us a note. We'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah we'll talk about it. If whatever, tell us about your technique. We'll uh, expose you as we're being exposed. No names, of course. Unless you say we Unless can. You yes. want your name. Out. Yeah, we'll ask you. We'll Absolutely. send you an email we'll back and famous. stuff like that. Um, and if you don't want to talk about it, that's all right, too. For now, um, uh, I, I'd like to thank uh, Damon. Good night. Papa Joe. Bye. Tyler, if you can point it back to him. Bye, everybody. Uh, and uh, Jenna Kelly. <laughs> this is Jim the Keys Park Good Center. Good night, guys. Yeah. Uh, keep it in your pants. After a long day of being pulled in every direction, the last thing anyone wants to think about is what's for dinner. That's where Schwann's can help with a variety of real food choices, frozen to lock in freshness, from ready-made meals, premium meats and side dishes, to vegetables, ice cream, and more. Schwann's foods go from freezer to table in minutes, not hours, so you can pull off a delicious meal in no time at all. Ordered, delivered, done. That's homemade easy. To help simplify mealtime, visit schwanz.com. Right now, you can get both Sprint's unlimited plan and the all-new Samsung Galaxy S10 included for just $35 per month per line for five lines. All you need is approved credit and an 18-month lease. No trade-in required. Visit a Sprint store, Sprint.com, or call 800-SPRINT-1. Phone $15 a month after $22.50 a month credit. Apply within two bills. If canceled earlier, remain a balance due unlimited basic. After 630 20 pay $32 per month per line for five lines without a pay. Data deprioritization during congestion. Speed maximums. Use rules and restrictions apply. <laughs> 